Rewind is really something you absolutely need. I mean, seriously, imagine if it was... Rewind. Hello guys, welcome to another video where we review Shopify apps. My name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io, but you subscribe to our channel, you watch all of your videos, and you already know that. <laughs> this week we're looking at Rewind. Rewind is a Shopify app, big surprise. <laughs> And it basically creates daily automatic backups of your store. It basically, I mean, if your online store is the way you make money, it's protecting your most important asset. It's like having fire insurance on your building. It's not a bad idea. Rewind has a 4.9 rating out of more than 600 reviews or something like that. So it's really, really well reviewed. And actually, I was in the Shopify Facebook group for Shopify entrepreneurs. Shout out to John Kennedy. <laughs> And um, on there, someone was asking, hey, what's the most important app you need to have? And I think it was Curve that said, um, from Eater Cycle, he said you need to have the Rewind one. Like, backups are super crucial. It's fire insurance. Anyway, Andrew, stop making so long intros. Let's look at behind the scenes how Rewind looks and see you on the other side. So the app is installed and we are greeted with the plan picker. On this page, we also have live chat, which you guys know by now, I love live chat. And it's really great if you have any questions about the plans. Maybe, by the way, it's a good idea to consult the agent if you're not sure which plan works perfectly for you. Because during the research, we did saw some reviews from people who chose the wrong plan because they didn't talk to the support and they ended up with bills way bigger than uh, they originally estimated. Make sure to to check the right plan. This is a demo shop, so we, we will stick with the free plan for this. So click on start trial and we are on the dashboard. All right, backup started in the background as well. So all we need to do is wait from this point. First thing I noticed, there is no progress bar. Like here we see that the backup is in progress, but we don't know how much percentage, not to mention the time is left, but all right, let's just uh, wait a bit. Okay, this is taking a bit more time. So so let's talk about a bit about you. Uh, what are the dumbest mistakes you made on your Shopify store? Uh, we have so many of these stories that we can write a book. So many of the mistakes I personally made. We will make a dedicated video one day, but uh, in the meantime, let us know your story in the comments below or contact our social media ecom experts on Facebook and LinkedIn and share them. I mean, it's really great value to learn on, on the, the mistakes of others. That's how you're going to make it. Half an hour later and the backup is finished. My idea is to mess up our team, delete some products, like make some serious damage to our store, and then basically try to rewind it. So let's see if that works. Let's go to the Shopify admin and start messing things up badly here. First, we will delete random things from the team. We believe in rewind, so, and this is a demo shop, so I don't really care. So let's break as much as I can. Okay, let's go to the online store and then teams. From here, we will choose actions and edit code, and we will delete some random templates and sections. Now that we deleted a lot of things, let's jump onto the website and see the damage we've done. As you can see, our store is messed up. Let's go to the Rewind app and see if we can fix this. I'm a little bit nervous. We are on the Rewind dashboard. And from here, I think we'll go to Account Rewind. Account Rewinds are used to rewind all items within a specific item type or an entire store back to a specific date and time, which we will do now. For the items that are going to be rewinded, we will go with all item types, but you can always select only the ones that needs to be recovered. You can choose from blocks, custom collections, uh, customer pages, products, product images, smart collections, and teams. We will go with all items types and proceed to date and time. In the date and time section, first we need to select the date we want our items to be restored. Click on a select date and simply choose the number from the calendar. The time is automatically set at 12 a.m. But in case you want to change it, you can just choose the time from the drop-down menu. We are only left with confirm our rewind and that's it. So let's click on the red button that says rewind and a new pop-up appears. Our account rewind has started and we will be notified by email when it's done. All right, click on done and we are back to the dashboard. On the dashboard, we don't have a lot of things to play with. I mean, this isn't really 
really rocket science, so that's probably good to keep it simple. Rewind should have maybe included the game just to have something to play with while you're waiting. Some tips we got from their customer support is that if you want to rewind to the very first backup you took, that's the one with the complete team in it. Trying to go back further than that will do nothing and going back to now will also do nothing. So keep that in mind. Also, when we are speaking about customer support, these guys are straight A's. Like they're really awesome. They reached back in a matter of seconds and they actually really, really helped us. Okay, the rewind is complete. Let's jump to the website and see what they've done. On the homepage, everything looks okay. Um, nothing to complain besides my fantastic designs. Let's check collections. We made some serious damage in there and it looks like it's all back to normal. All right, I'm back in business selling millions. I mean, guys, this app has some real value. It's like buying fire insurance on your house. We sometimes work with our uh, emergency client encoding request for our, for our members clients where they they just send out a huge campaign on social media, $10,000 per day and Murphy's Law, their store just breaks at that minute. I can imagine they would be saving a whole lot of money working with us by simply having this app installed, reverting to a previous version and at least having the buy button work while their massive campaigns are, are up and running. If you're a big store, this is really, really a must and it kind of gives you a second chance and a great way to protect probably your most important asset if you're an e-commerce store. So hands down to the Rewind crew. All right, that is it for today, people. I hope you enjoyed our little review of Rewind. I hope you'll check out all of our other videos that we made over Metafield and live chats and reviews. And make sure to check them all out because before you install an app, you want to see our video because if you uninstall the app afterwards, you're not necessarily removing the code from your team and that clutters all your code team up and that slows your site down and that affects your revenue and we don't want that. So that is why. Make sure to like, subscribe, tell us what you do and if you ever need a developer, my name is Andrew from EcomX. Experts.io and I'll see you in the next video. You better subscribe.